Hello, my name is Sonia Fatima Schwendler. I'm professor at the Federal University of Paraná in Brazil. Uh, today, we are going to talk about the methodologies and partnerships related to our project, uh, Participatory Action Research, uh, Climate Emergency and its relations uh, with education, law, public health and environment. This is our project that is related to uh, the Climate U project, Transforming Universities for a Changed Climate. I'm going to present our team. Um, I'm the coordinator of this project. I'm uh, from the graduate program in, in education. Uh, Dr. Katia Iziquiri is from the graduate program in law. Dr. Cristina Teixeira is from the graduate program in environment and development. And Dr. Naina Pieri is also from the graduate program in, in environment and development. Uh, many students who are taking part. I'm going to introduce uh, Vinicius Tomal, who is, who is going to present the students' team. Uh, uh, these are our associate researchers' team, uh, with members uh, from different fields, uh, including undergraduate students in law, journalism, and oceanography, and graduate students in law and education, uh, including Andrielle, uh, Julia Wisenski. Mariana Domaral, uh, Robson Delgado, Vianne Guilherme, uh, Victoria Hilsman, and, and myself, Vinicius. Our participatory action research uh, seeks to listen to populations that are in a situation of vulnerability related to climate emergency, violations of rights, and experience of resistance. The main goals of our project is to diagnose the perception of climate change by vulnerable groups, uh, pay special attention to intersectionality issues, identify the claims and the resistance strategies of these groups in relation of climate change, learn from them and share knowledge with the communities on climate risk and vulnerability issues, also uh, collectively build a climate justice concept and an environmental sustainability agenda. The participatory action research methodology uh, is based on Paulo Freire's pedagogy of the oppressed. The idea is to work uh, through a co-production of knowledge. We will do this through conversation circles and thematic workshops with the representative of rural so social movements, coastal and traditional communities, non-governmental organizations, researchers, teachers, and university students. Uh, our university is located at this, in the state of Paraná, one of the southernmost uh, states of Brazil, which has a strong uh, rural and peasant history in addition to a vast bay that is home to several coastal communities. And this is something that's reflected on partnerships, uh, as Professor Sonia said. Our plan is to work with representatives of various social movements present in the state of Paraná, uh, linked to the countryside, traditional communities, and coastal communities, as told present in Antonina, uh, Paranaga Bay, and Lapa. It has a uh, question of uh, MST encampments, uh, with agro agroecological practice, uh, indigenous and coastal riverside communities, and some quilombolas and women, women present organizations. We had a preliminary meeting held in Curitiba on September 2nd. This as was an overview of the project, uh, Transforming Universities for Climate Change, by the Professor Tristan McCombe, that is our uh, principal researcher. We presented on an outline of uh, uh, participatory action research uh, in relationship with education, law, and public health and the environment, with representatives of social movements that shared their needs and expectations about their participation in the research project. In this meeting, we established a framework of work uh, with several agents, uh, with participation of representatives of the movement of Jews affected by them, uh, Kalmab, 
The Landless Rural Worker Movement, TMST, Action Coastal Communities, Peasant Women, Traditional Communities as Quilombola Indigenous, and our students in Education Lab in Environmental Sciences, as also the researchers from UFPE and Professor Tris McCollum. We also developed a seminar uh, called Agroecology, Climate Changes and Rural Women's Resistance. It was held uh, in Curitiba, Paraná, uh, from the 22nd to the 26th of June. Uh, it was uh, held inside the Agroecology Journey, which was organized by Via Campesina, uh, which is a, a social movement organization in Brazil in which a lot of social movements take part. Uh, and it was organized in partnership with the Federal University of Paraná and other organizations. Just to have an overview here of the, um, the city of Curitiba where the, the, this event happened. Through a conversation circle, the seminar aimed to identify the claims of rural populations and how climate change has impacted their lives and territories. To learn from women's experience, we invited uh, women affected by dumps, also uh, Quilombolas women, and the women from the Landless Workers Movement. In, in this meeting, they were able to share the knowledge, the experience, and the agency. The seminar gives us an overview of violations and resistance from the perspectives of rural social movements, also from peasant women. During the seminar, we were able to listen to communities and women's counter-hegemonic initiatives. This seminar helps the participants to learn from women's agroecological practice, also from the signs of nature, from the messages that that Mother Earth is giving to us. And more rec recently, uh, we have a seminar about climate relations and justice that was, was organized by the students of the law department in partnership with the Climate Field Project. This event was held in Curitiba on September 16th. In this event, we have representatives of various social movements that were uh, invited here to discuss the issues regarding to the role of the judiciary in protecting rights and enforcing laws on climate change, as well as the experience of resistance. We have several representatives from MST, from MAP, that was the moment of conflict by DEMS, and for some uh, organization related to a judicial overview of climate change. In the seminar, we also have a, a, a large group that debated issues regarding to the state's own role in degradation of the environment and the possibility of building the concept of climate justice. There are some photos illustrating the, the participants. This is the work that we have already done in our project. We are planning to do other activities with our partners, uh, which includes to go to their places and to visit them and to develop um, some works there and also to develop some um, conversation circles and workshops in, in the communities and in Curitiba. It was a pleasure to stay with you today and to share our work. Thanks.